I remember when I first had the idea to make a video breaking down why Casey could win the QB battle and I thought maybe I'll just wait to do this one in June, but a second thought kept creeping back in my head and it told me not to wait. It told me the odds he'd leave are low cause the dude's a fighter and he shows extreme confidence anytime he talks about winning the job, but there was still a small part of me that knew Casey leaving as a grad transfer was a possibility. This week he started posting videos throwing in the facility again and the vibe just felt so good like there was for sure an open QB battle this summer. One, cause Casey has a really good arm and made some great plays while he was injured last season. But two, cause Jeff Sims didn't look so good that anyone could say he was the clear number one option. It was 7 a.m. for me when Noah Pola Gates entered his name in the portal today and I just shrugged that one off and went back to sleep because I expected it. But when the Casey news popped up 45 minutes later, my mind started going crazy with all these new scenarios. Rule just lost or forced out two QBs who didn't fit in Richard Torres and Logan Smothers, but the expectation was that he had Thompson and Sims at the top with Purdy and Harburg fighting for that third spot. But what now, Harburg or Purdy become the legit number two? And be honest, as of today, could either of those two actually win a game if it came down to it? Sims missed multiple games with a foot injury and hasn't played a complete season since he was a true freshman. And we already know how much of a beating QBs take when the O-line isn't playing up to par. So how often is Satterfield gonna have to rework the game plan if his main guy goes out? But I'm just being selfish. Let's think about Casey and the position he's in. He comes to Nebraska a year ago, plays well all things considered, actually plays amazing all things considered since the two guys behind him couldn't function in that offense. But anyway, he throws for almost 2,500 yards while he's injured and then the new staff comes in and lands Jeff Sims who fits their system better, has a bigger frame which in theory should mean he's more durable and then we watch an entire month of practice while the new guy gets a leg up since Casey had to sit out while he recovered from surgery. He's 24 years old and this is his last season to play college football so if he has any desire to go pro he needs to get as much film as possible and at Nebraska right now there's no guarantee he will. This isn't a bad thing but Rule has no loyalty to any player especially one he didn't recruit. He's in Lincoln to rebuild and to win as soon as possible. Casey and his dad are smart and they've got a game plan for his whole life after college so if they know there's an even slightly better chance for him to find more success elsewhere, they'd take it and that's what they're doing. With the portal it's almost impossible to keep two starting caliber QBs on the roster because there are so many schools desperate for a guy with talent and good quarterbacks are really hard to come by. You look at Auburn, Florida, or Virginia, for example, those are all schools who are desperate to find a legit number one, and they can all afford to at least match the NIL money he was getting at Nebraska and almost guarantee him the starting job. And I'm not saying he'll end up at one of those places, but there are a bunch of schools in the Power Five who just got through spring ball and still don't have a number one QB locked in who would gladly offer Casey, who's got three years of experience. But if I was him, I'd probably do the same thing because the writing's been on the wall. This staff wants a QB who can run and the pass game won't be the emphasis like it was last year. Sims was almost certainly gonna win the job anyway, so why would you wanna waste your last year sitting on the bench when somebody else will put you on the field? There's no way to spin this into a positive for Nebraska cause he's a massive loss and if something were to happen to Sims, I wouldn't be surprised if the offense struggled the way it did last year when Casey was out against Illinois, Minnesota, and Michigan. But it is what it is, it really sucks for Nebraska. It's great for college football since Casey's gonna make somebody else's offense a lot better, but yeah, Nebraska fans did not want this news today. But what do you think? Is losing Casey as big of a blow as Twitter's making it out to be, or did Matt Rule know this was gonna happen? Is Casey a day one starter in the Power Five, or are you thinking he might go to a smaller school now that he's already played in the Big 12 and the Big 10? And who's your new prediction to back up Jeff Sims? Chubb is a little more experienced, but his first year at Nebraska was rough, and Harburg didn't look any better in the spring game. There's still a lot to sort out before week one, but at least we've got a lot to talk about. That's all I got for today, so thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Go Big Red.